I'm a total solar newbie and this is an absolute bare bones solar install. I have all the basic components, nothing fancy, but this is basically gonna be my thought process behind installing it, um, what I did differently compared to what other things I saw on YouTube, as well as everything that I bought with an extremely small budget in mind. So if I miss anything or if I can enhance something with a couple of other parts, please drop those in the comments. If you wanna share any other wisdom to any other people that are watching this video, please comment that as well. As always, let me know if you have any questions. Here we go. I'm basically just laying everything out right now to make sure that it works properly. Basically the setup that we have right now we have two 100 amp hour lithium, um, what are they? Yeah, lithium iron batteries. Um, these are the cheapest ones that I found on the market. I, I have no idea if they work well or not, but happy with them so far. We have a 2000 watt inverter. We've got the on and off switch. That'll be connected later all the way over here. Sorry about the mess. We've got our MTTP, or wait, no, MPPT charge controller, 40 amps getting some sunlight right now and then we've got our two 100 watt panels out here harvesting the energy of the sun up here on the roof this is the solar panel that came with the rv so grand design these new 2023s are coming with a 165 watt furion panel just one it's powering the deep cycle marine battery that's on the front we got these two rails from home depot that i'm going to mount these panels too. So with Renogy, they have these little, I guess, mounting brackets that come with the, with the kit. However, I did see this on Instagram. It's a trick. You get these rails, you mount them one time and you can adjust the panels as time goes on. And, and later in the video, I'll, I'll kind of explain this a little bit more, but about six in the morning, <laughs> I've been measuring up a storm. Sorry, this light is terrible, but everyone's asleep. The sun hasn't come up quite yet. But as you can see here, I've got the panels and the rails all laid out properly, measured out, and I'm like 95% sure that all of this is correct. So I'm about to go make a run to Home Depot and make sure that I have everything that I need. It includes wire, bolts, uh, the dicord lap sealant and everything like that. And then um, hopefully by noon today, everything is, is uh, pretty much set up. Yeah, that whole um, measure twice, cut or drill once thing is, is gonna turn into measure three or four times today and then cut once. Here's the deal. Sun's just now coming up and I just climbed on to the top of the RV to just take some measurements and make sure that everything was looking good. But the roof is soaked right now with dew. We are in Florida, so I, I don't know why I didn't think about that, but it, the roof is like totally wet and I don't feel like drying it off. So I was hoping to get the panels installed before noon, but I'm just gonna wait until the sun dries the roof off, probably around like noonish to two uh, time frame. When everything warms up, it might be a little bit more hot, but it'll be dry and I don't wanna take any chances of water getting inside my roof before I put any lap sealant down. What I can do in the meantime is install the other pieces. So the inverter, the charge controller, uh, place the batteries where I want them so I can get everything in basically and just kind of situated, wire everything together. And then the panels really are the last thing that we have to put in anyway, but it's gonna take the longest. That's why I wanna do it first. So I'm just gonna kind of do it in reverse order. Okay, here's the plan. So I've got this all cleared out for the most part, the inverter, I'm gonna put up two slabs of wood, bam, bam, hang it up against this wall so it has a little bit more support because this isn't a super, you know, a super great piece of wood. So I'm gonna try to support it with some other pieces. Um, the charge controller is gonna go right here next to the one that came with the camper. So it'll go right here. We're gonna run wires all the way down here through the underbelly and then all the way up to the panels, which will be on the back side. Then, from the inverter and the charge controller, wires will run through this wall to the batteries, which will be under the bed. So there was a drawer that was underneath the bed. So I took these two pieces of wood. I'm gonna put them behind this little panel back here in the garage. So it'll keep the, uh, it'll keep the inverter from falling over. It's not super pretty, but it's up and it's not gonna go anywhere. 
Next, we're gonna put in the new charge controller. Okay, just like that. New charge controller is in, and I got it facing the same way so I can keep running these wires this way. I've got the inverter wires here, charge controller wires here, both threaded through to the other side into the garage. Better visual here. Here's all the wires coming through the wall. It's not, it's not beautiful, but functional. Inverter in, charge controller in, wires in. Um, I have to go inside. I'm gonna eat some lunch. I'm gonna do some work, and then um, I'm gonna come back out here, and then I'm gonna try to tackle the panels on top, which I'm, I'm kind of dreading to be honest, but you know it's got to be done. get it up on the roof. Got it, got it. Really quick to just show you guys exactly what I'm doing. Um, I got these, uh, I'm not even really sure what they're called, but what these do is you put them into the rail, you twist them, and then you lock them into place. It goes like this, but the solar panel with the Simpson hanger, washers and a bolt and it's and it's nice in place you don't have to keep putting in holes uh, in the roof of your RVs. Using this uh, Camco ProTech self-leveling sealant. I got this at Walmart for like 15 bucks. Got the panels on the tracks. Now you'll notice that these panels are I guess just um, you know, slightly far apart. Um, I'm only putting them here because I want to see exactly where these rails need to go. Um, so I'm going to mark these holes on the rails really quick. And I just wanted to make sure that, all right, so once these are actually installed, are they going to fit in this spot and, and everything looks good? I'm about to drill into the roof. Um, this is just horrifying. Um, I've had so many people that have been RV owners that are being like, you're doing what? Um, but hey, a bunch of you on YouTube can do it. I can do it too. Okay, so here's the deal. I'm gonna put a big dollop of sealant, the washer, and then we're gonna drill this sucker in there. Plenty of sealant coming through here. I don't I'm not taking any any chances. All right They're in so all that's left to do is connect the wires to uh, The front Which is basically just gonna be these all the way back down the ladder Under Neat the side and then into the garage, which is there. I didn't want to drill a hole into the roof uh, to run these cables through because I just wasn't super confident about it. So what I did was run the wires from the panels, which are over there on that side, down this ladder, got this tubing here. It's running all the way here. And then the underbelly of the camper. You can see here that there are these little holes that are running underneath the camper that I'm taking the wire, running it through here, and it's holding it up underneath the belly. Now, instead of drilling another hole around here through the bottom, I'm just gonna be using the city water hole that's already cut in here. Um, and I'll make sure that the wires are nice and clean put over here. And this run up to the charge controller. Now that I have the negative and the positive connected to the inverter, we'll connect the negative and the positive of the inverter onto the battery. I have a 200 amp fuse on this and make sure that you, you know, before you actually put it on, you have to touch this boop right there to the terminal. It's gonna be a spark and then uh, and then you'll be able to put the fuse on. Okay, that's on there. Let's see if we got power. In the moment of truth. Nice. Look how good that looks right now. All right, so next, we'll put everything on the charge controller. I've already got the solar panels put in here, PV positive and minus. We're gonna be putting into these terminals here, 
battery positive and minus. Before I clean up all the wires, here it is. Two 100 amp hour lithium batteries. We've got a 200 amp fuse. We've got the on off switch for the inverter right here underneath the bed. The batteries are being charged by this 40 amp MPPT charge controller. This is the Rover from Renogy. The batteries are powering a 2000 watt inverter from Renogy. And up here we've got two minuscule 100 watt Renogy panels harvesting energy from the sun.